so it is a little bit wet on the inside. Gross. Okay guys, so I got the intercooler thrown back on the car. Everything is looking good, everything's clean. I went ahead, threw the bumper back on as well. Um, and now I pulled the charge pipe off of the car. I'm gonna do a quick boost leak test just to make sure I didn't create any boost leaks down at these connections here. So this actually turned into totally tearing apart my intake manifold and all of that. Had to dismantle the uh, throttle body, that all had to come off. I disconnected this charge pipe to the throttle body, pulled off the fuel rail, um, and turns out this was not sealing up against uh, the head, so I had a boost leak right there. Um, pretty bad one actually. Got the gasket right here at my feet. Uh, this was the old gasket that was originally on the car, but I did go ahead and put one of these uh, New South Performance power gasket, um, and I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to run any gasket with this. This is supposed to be the gasket. So uh, I think that is my issue as having two soft mating surfaces going together creates uh, just not a good sealing surface. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this thing up. Uh, I'll double check online, but I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to run this gasket with another gasket. So uh, I'll clean this up, throw it back in, uh, depending on what I find, and we'll go ahead and just run it. So I got the manifold put back on, tried it again, it still leaks. I was just about to give up and then I got my spray bottle with some Simple Green in there, sprayed it around this whole area because it was still leaking around here. I thought it was the fuel injector, uh, but some of the Simple Green actually trickled down to the side here. Um, and this weld right here is actually cracked. So even the best of welds can crack, guys. Um, that is just... It's facts, the best quality products sometimes fail. Um, so that is failing right there. I'll probably have to have Brady weld it in the future. Right now, I am going to hit it with some brazing rod and see if I can actually seal the crack myself. Uh, so you just preheat the metal, um, get it nice and hot, and then you can kind of dab the brazing rod onto it and it will create like an aluminum layer over it. Uh, so temporary fix, hopefully it can seal it up and yeah, we'll see if we can get it temporarily fixed. So I'm getting the hang of this. Uh, it took me about 22 minutes to get this off. Um, and I went ahead and kind of cleaned up the area. It is cracked basically all the way around. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of make the crack a little bit wider so the um, brazing stuff has something to flow into. Um, and just go ahead and clean it up and start brazing it. Alright guys, so it is not the prettiest job, but this is it all brazed and it should be sealed up. Uh, and yeah, it actually went a lot better than I thought it would. Uh, the brazing takes a long, long time just because you have to like preheat the metal until the brazing rod starts to melt onto it. Uh, so it took probably half an hour uh, just having the torch sit there um, and just heat up this whole runner um, and by the end of it every runner was hot to the touch so you couldn't really even hold this thing uh, so I had it propped up uh, right by this chair as you guys can see that's all the extra stuff that just came off of it and all of the failed attempts so uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to but it actually seems like it came out decent Hopefully it holds some pressure, uh, more pressure than it was at least. I know there might be like a pinhole or two that aren't totally sealed up, but uh, yeah, hopefully it seals up. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on the car. So the car is back together. I tried to make a little time lapse, but ran out of memory. So here is the car. Uh, everything is all hooked up and tight. 
Uh, I am going to go ahead and grab the air and let's test. We've got like 30 PSI in there so we should be good. Let's fill it up. Alright, no leak guys so we fixed it. So the main reason why I was going to clean the air cooler, uh, the performance of the car was definitely going down. Uh, it doesn't feel as peppy uh, and if you ripped second gear and then shifted into third, uh, the car would definitely feel like it was misfiring for the first little bit of third gear. Um, and obviously with one cylinder being starved of air, these three cylinders are totally under pressure. Um, the whole car is running on 19 PSI and it wasn't varying from that. Uh, so 19 PSI was going in here, um, but this one was seeing less than 19 PSI, so it was running super rich. So the whole engine felt like it was like off balance, um, and it rightfully was. So now, uh, with this fixed, it should even out all of the cylinders, and the car should run 10 times better under power. Um, and yeah, should make a lot more power than it was, uh, more consistently and more reliably. So yeah, uh, I think that was a good project for today. I'm super freaking tired. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we are almost at 2,000 subscribers, which is crazy. I remember the Stance Santa Fe page when we first started it. It stayed at like 20, 23 subscribers for like almost two years. Um, and it just kind of took off when we started this Jetta project. Now Brady's got his Jetta project. He's got his truck. He's got new wheels for his truck. He's got all kinds of new stuff coming for the Jetta. It's going to be sweet. Um, this summer is going to be super fun for these cars. And we've got the built head still on the way. I've got more parts for that that I haven't told you guys about. I've got uh, all kinds of stuff coming. So be on the lookout, guys, for the next videos and the next projects. It's going to be awesome. These cars are going to be awesome when they're done. And... Thank you guys for the support. So we'll see you later and yeah, thank you.